On January 12th, Haiti, already the Western Hemisphere's most impoverished nation, literally imploded. The facilities at our in-country partners, St. Vincent's and Healing Hands, were destroyed. The population of disabled and amputees swelled considerably. While Physicians for Peace is not a first responder, we knew we could still provide much needed assistance. As donations poured in during the early aftermath, we immediately began working with our two friends to help them recover and reconstitute as best they could. If you want to get more information, you go to physiciansforpeace.org. Thanks to Heather Mills and Larry King and to our longtime partner, Hangar Orthopedic Group, we launched a nationwide drive that exceeded the capacity of our 10,000 square foot warehouse by three times. Hangar opened up their nearly 700 locations nationwide as drop-off locations. Through its philanthropic organization, the Hangar Ivan R. Sable Foundation, Hangar Orthopedic Group developed an immediate capability to start treating the disabled. Reaching out to the Albert Schweitzer Hospital in Des Chapelles, Haiti, they brought together Physicians for Peace, the Harold and Carita Anderson Family Foundation, the Shepherd Center, and the Catholic Medical Mission Board to form the Haitian Amputee Coalition. Today, this coalition's efforts at Albert Schweitzer Hospital serve as the benchmark for rehabilitation in Haiti. It also serves as a public-private model. The commitment is enduring. At Physicians for Peace, our volunteers are committed to doing their part. Their stories reflect what's really happening on the ground. Small victories can make a world of difference, and our volunteers are dedicated to the idea that when you teach a person to heal, you help many. Physicians for Peace was in Haiti before the earthquake, and with your support, we'll be there, alongside our partners and friends, for as long as Haiti needs us.